Good morning, everybody. All right, it is 46 degrees, 8 degrees Celsius outside. I realized just a little bit ago that I could put the uh, Thrones app actually as a widget so I can have it right on my home screen. Duh. Plus, I did change the weather channel over to Celsius, and I have the Apple weather as um, Imperial, so I can just kind of swipe back and forth because there is a slight difference between Franz and the weather channel by a degree. And here's the problem. I did not switch this thing over to high bitrate yesterday. It was in standard. So yesterday's vlog was still not using the new up. It was updated, but it wasn't using it. So I went from 13 hours and 40 minutes of record time on the 512 gig card down to nine hours and 37 minutes, which is nine minutes, still nine minutes more than the Action 4 and the Pocket 3 on a 512 gig card. So I was planning on using the Pocket today. But now that we have the high bitrate engaged, now we're going to film with the Action 5. Had this thing all set up, ready to go. Going to remove the secondary mic, because I'm tired of looking like I have, you know, DJI nipples. Um, <laughs> and I never have my logos, like, facing the right way. Doesn't matter. DJI, if you ever want to, uh, like, you know, send me something, I will help you out. I'll listen to your guidelines, don't get me wrong, but n until... But I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to lie about your equipment. Anywho. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, that's quite a significant... It's like three hours and... Uh, what was it? Four hours. It's almost four hours and three minutes loss of um, time. Yeah, because if it was ten hours, it would have been three. So, four hours and three minutes of record time with the higher bit rate so the reason I wanted to film upstairs is because low light and I was like man I'm still seeing green but you know I was pushing things now let's see we're in four and 4k 60 I'm not gonna change that out and I'll throw the drone light on back here just to give an idea because it is currently what 10 of 8 so uh, we're getting uh, it's bright light outside we're gonna take puppies for a walk here turn this back off see what it does good morning everybody Sorry about that. I did not realize they made a new menu for that. Um, the other thing they changed in the menu is when you go to like your sharpness and your nose reduction settings, uh, it now tells you what you're on when you're in custom mode. I don't think it did that before. It just said custom. Now it shows you that you're minus one, minus two, or minus two. You know, whatever your setting is, it shows it to you. Uh, it's froggy outside. And I think my weather apps are actually off I am in shorts and I put a little jacket on <laughs> legs seem not to be such a problem but I'm glad I didn't walk out here with uh, no no jacket on so all right let's see how this higher bit rate works and I'm still running internal I honestly it's saying I have like 57 minutes um, I don't remember what internal recorded prior. So that's a problem. I could switch it back over to standard and see what it's at, but I've already used the card, so it wouldn't be totally accurate from the zero stand. So I'll try to remember tomorrow to double check that, switch it back over to standard. Let me just make sure that when you switch from external to memory card that it stays in uh, high bit rate. Yes, it does. I did bring the pocket three with me just so I have some comparison shots here. Uh, so we'll kind of go back and forth a little bit. It's part of me is thinking, should we do a side by side with this? I, boy, I'm telling you. <laughs> For it being on standard bitrate yesterday, I'm watching the video now, don't get me wrong. In the beginning of the video, when it's nighttime, I'm not, I was like, mm. there's there's portions where it's like a little bit grainy uh, especially if you pause the screen like when we're going out the front door I'm like oh that look that doesn't look any better well <laughs> that's why alrighty Archie just went by I'm glad I turned the camera off a little pretty tree in the fog that looks very Halloweenish very fallish 
so last night we started watching the Agatha on the road or something. It's on Disney Plus. It's about the witch that's trying to get her powers back. Um, it started off like so weird. I'm sitting there going, the I, I hope this get I said Terry, I hope this gets better because the acting in this is like just horrible. I'm not gonna give away why. And which like after we watch like the second episode, I'm sitting there going, now the beginning kind of makes sense why it seems so you know, forced and fake. So if you're into, you know, witches and stuff like that, uh, we've only seen two episodes. There's like four more available for us. Come on, Mateo, we're not done, dude. You gotta go for a walk. Did I fire up this watch? No, I did not. Oops. Sometimes, I don't know. You guys might have noticed. I mean, granted, this is my new little toy. And my new little toys always get more use. Hold on a second before I can finish that sentence. Oh. You know what? I want to do something here. Um, yeah, so this is like my new little toy. So the Action 5 is getting a lot of use. But at the same time... I'm super happy with it. <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, if it wasn't doing, even with the bitrate situation prior that I was actually unaware of until I had a comment about it, which I appreciate the comment, um, I was still impressed with it. Now we're gonna find out what it really can do now that it's got a higher bitrate. Whatever that is, it doesn't say. It just says standard and high. And just remember, on a 512 gig card, four hours and three minutes of time lost still nine minutes more than the pocket three and the action four on the same card all right i'm gonna do the reverse walk like what i just did with the pocket three mateo we're not done we're not done little dog i'm just doing a test run here okay <laughs> i double clicked the button and turned around the, the camera can you tell the quality difference switching over to the pocket three so just for giggles this morning i typed in dji action four or pocket four too many cameras um rumors and the first video was like about a week ago uh, granted it's all they're all automatic all, like auto generated things um basically it's like they're saying 2026 2027 by DJI's normal release pattern with this camera. Now they're saying they're gonna make it bigger and all this stuff. Things I'm sitting there going, hmm. Now granted, this is bigger than the Pocket 2. The, there are little parts of my brain saying that DJI might actually upgrade this for the fact of some of the things they did with the Action 5 Pro, being the new screen, um, and <clears throat> the new chip for the sensor. So I, sticking with a one inch and increasing it to a 40 megapixel shooter, uh, I feel like nine is pathetic. This thing does do decent photos. I'll take some photos this morning here with this and include them in the vlog. And actually what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do photos with this and I'm going to do photos with the Action 5 and run them back to back. And I was kind of picking and choosing a lot this morning when I edited. <clears throat> Most of them are in um, raw, not edited, but they're in raw. This tree, I think the tree down there, some of the other ones, but the one for the playground where it was really far and the kid was playing, that was actually the JPEG photo because otherwise it was just so dark because it was so far away. Um, but I was kind of limiting what I was doing here because it was really weird. It was like showing me that I had like, um, camera, can you come over here? Thank you. Um, I don't have face tracking on. I mean, that's another thing I have not used in a long time, not even in the car. I don't, cause it swings back and forth too much and I don't like it. It does lose me sometimes when I get a little bit too erratic. 
So as we come back up, I'm gonna get that tree, this tree, that tree with both cameras, and I'm gonna run a slight little photo montage between the two. So a nine, nine pic, megapixel photo on the Pocket 3, 40 megapixel on the Action 5 Pro. So they say, but so the screen, the sensor with the higher megapixel photos, I don't know what else they can do. <laughs> I can't think of much else I'd like to see this thing handle. They're talking about more accessories. Uh, there's so damn many accessories. And some of the stuff they're talking about, I'm sitting there going, again, th this, these auto-generated videos that just, they must, they're, I'm, they're probably AI videos. And <clears throat> a one crazy shot, and I think it was a DJI um, actual video. Oh, pockets closing or the action shutting down um they had the damn thing mounted to a dog no because <laughs> when i mounted the cameras to aj he rolled on it on the on the gopro back in the day all right we're just gonna go to the fire hydrant that is doesn't look open quite yet should have brought my hand warmers i didn't realize it was duh. i was so so interested when i saw that i didn't have it in high bit rate i <laughs> ran out the door <laughs> Okay, a little photo uh, montage thingy majig you're done. See how that uh, how that plays out. The gimbal on this thing was not liking the vertical shots. So basically, I don't like I don't do vertical the way they tell you to, like switching the screen to make the, th the shot vertical. If you hold the camera sideways, it's supposed to just hold the, the lens the way it's supposed to. It was not liking that at all. Kind of want to get this one across the street, even though the power line's in it. All righty, I'm gonna try a little side by side here. This is fun, because I'm using both hands. Obviously, the action gives you a much wider field of view, even on standard D-Warp. Uh, it's like 17, I think, versus 20 uh, in the field of view degrees. So, yeah, but kind of curious. Now, granted, the pocket will give you background blur where the action does not. Be neat to see that being uh, the ability to do that with an action camera at some time. Um, so, bring them in close together. Oh, it's just. Uh, this is interesting. My hands are freezing. So <laughs> we saw she see how she how this works. And let's spin around. Time out. One, two, three. And then physically turn. Aim up. Squirrel. <laughs> Little man in the leads. Okay. Alrighty, walk number two. Priya's not feeling the best this morning. And she's sitting in the recliner with us and I'm loving her up and she started like kind of yelping a little bit. I'm not sure what's going on. Capture this froggy morning. Try to get the truck out of there. Come on, baby. Come on, let's walk. Let's do it. Alrighty, downloaded the photos. Something to keep in mind. You cannot run the Bluetooth remote and the Mimo app at the same time. You have to shut the remote off. And for some reason, I actually have to go in on the iPad into my settings and open Wi-Fi 
and then go back into the DJI app, otherwise the camera will not connect. It's really weird. I don't know, but I did remember my hand warmers. So, this won't be near as chilly, but take her for a walk and see if she'll do any business as she did on her puppy pads overnight or this morning. So, oh, come on, baby dog. He's a, such a velvety, soft little basset hound. Oh, except for where her harness sits. <laughs> I accidentally shut my last exercise down. Didn't mean to, so I restarted it. Alrighty, puppy poo. How do you look in high bit rate? Uh, I think I've done basically what I'm going to do testing wise between these two. I might switch back and forth throughout the day on cameras. I kind of want to get us out. Um, maybe do... Maybe do the duck pond in Montoursville? I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. See how Princess is feeling. We got a lot of house cleaning to do today. So, and I gotta call Verizon. Yay, a piddle! A Princess piddle, yay! Come on, let's walkie walk. Let's take a beautiful fall foggy walk. Just look at this scene. If this doesn't look like autumn, I don't know what does. This is probably screen grab this. If I can get the apartment out of it, that'd be nice. There we go. Then you got the trash thing, or the doggy trash thing in there. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Won't be long and everybody will be bare. <laughs> yeah, so I've already imported the photos into the computer, or into the iPad. It just, I don't know, for some reason, it just seems to be my best course of action. Now last night I actually opened the files and drug them in separately. Otherwise it joins them together. Um, JPEG and RAW makes it like one photo. Whereas if I do it the other way I can select JPEG and then RAW and I have two files. So. I don't remember if I got you this morning or not buddy. I know I got down here so. She's like oh. She might do business again. I don't know. Yeah, I'm texting Mr. Baker with Siri, and she's calling herself Ceres. Um, instead of sloshed, because I say every time she does something wrong, I say that she's drunk, and Mike replies back. So, Ceres already smashed, and um, you're walking the tail half a lap. Okay, got it. Because <laughs> it didn't even say Mateo. I forget what he called him. Call him something else. I'm like, oh my god. I have to say the Pixel does do auto dictation really well in comparison. Just I think for me it's the screen on the Pix on the Pixel is just not as vibrant, is not as bright as the iPhone. Need to bass it in the leaves. Sniffa sniffa sniffa. Yeah, I thought you liked to sniff some autumn leaves. Can you imagine what she smells though? Oh my goodness. Over 200,000 olfactory scents for a basset hound. I don't know if bloodhounds are as, as strong. I've never really done the research. I think bassets are number one in the amount of scents they pick up. But you think that bloodhound would be pretty high too they got the big ears, they're just taller, so that's why the basset being lower to the ground, they're right, right at level. <laughs> well, half of you is bare, half of you still has leaves. Silly tree. Well, I'm sure the video is probably exported by now, and I'm going to have to change the title, seeing that I did not have it in high bitrate. So, it's firmware update, standard bitrate. This will be high, this will be firmware update, high bitrate. And I think we're gonna stay there. I'm curious, because I'll be able to get all this imported this morning and uh, take a look at it and see. Hmm. Should we swap back and forth for a couple clips of some things just to see? Eh, maybe later on, we'll see. Let's just leave it as is for right now. We've already did the Pocket 3 versus the Action 4, so. Yeah, so my wish list for the uh, Pocket 4 would be the screen that this bad boy has with the new technology and 40 megapixel uh, camera for you know taking photos. 
uh, the one inch sensor, maybe, you know, some sort of an update on the, whatever they did with the, with the actions. Because they've definitely done something to improve, I feel. That's what it was. This little sensor here, the little light sensor, if they could figure a way to add a light sensor somewhere on that bad boy. Uh, that would be interesting. Yeah, so I, I, I also was thinking about the whole car situation with this. Um, and where the pocket comes in so handy, regardless of what vehicle I put it in, is the fact that it's on a gimbal and it spins around. So filming me or filming out, it's, it's you know, it's an easy triple click on the one button. So now the lighting right now for my eyes is really good for this. Be curious, I don't know what these are, but they look interesting. Now, there's not a lot along here anymore. All the purple flowers I think have long gone, but these little guys here are still hanging in. I don't think we have any closer uh, clarity with this. I'm curious to know, because I was watching Philip Sherpko's video. He went on holiday with his family um, with the Insta360 Ace Pro 2 and the DJI Action 5 Pro. That's a lot to say, geez. Um, Oh, and my file management thing came in so handy the other day because it does literally list the last three of the camera as A5P. So now I know which camera's which. <laughs> really helpful. I took a picture of this guy. This is just like a little low. Oh, no, he is hanging out of another tree, isn't he? All right. Uh, no, he's his own little tree. He is his own little tree. And this is that odd-shaped one. No, I think he, oh, that's the one that broke that huge branch off that's laying there that's never gotten taken care of. He's got a lot of little sprouts coming out of the side of him, too. Okie dokie. I don't think we're going to do about the same walk with Mateo and I did. And then uh, I'll start importing for today and see what, uh, so I have some idea of whether or not I'm seeing serious improvement or not for myself. Because as I mentioned, I did watch Tamara Gabriel's video from it. She actually had, she has two of these cameras. I think one was sent to her and one she probably bought on her own. So she left one unupdated and one updated. There was, it, it, again, it depends on the scene. The low bit rate sometimes is better in, in her testing. Now it's two different cameras too. Yeah, actually, this is one of the photos I took. So I'm gonna see what it looks like. Boy, this fog is so thick today. Gee whiz. Can't even see the, the mountain. Barely can see high steel. And I'm looking at that uh, steel racking right there. That looks really, really familiar. Because I think when um, Moore's went out of business, Dad bought a bunch of that stuff. Hmm. I wonder if that came from my dad's or if he did the same thing. Come on. Person on a bicycle. Come on, let's go. We can't go over there. They're open, Bubby. I'm sorry. I right know we, 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 it's very limited times we go over there. Come on, they got it. They got a customer. We can't go overs. It's like, but but Dad. Ooh, that's bright red. And those are the flowers back there that I kind of got into. It's funny the weeds. Oh, there we go. I can get to them. Mr. Tree, I don't know, the sky kind of, at least on the screen, it seems like it's really dark. We'll see how it comes out. This thing's more, a little, seems like when it's dark on the screen, it's dark in reality. Over here's the better angle. This would be good if I held the camera at an angle upward. Yeah, see, got much brighter, much brighter. That is pretty, I did take that shot too. Oh yeah. Oh, love this season. Oh, uh, that's probably filming sideways. Oh well. But I did have to switch over to my, uh, I don't even know what the heck these are. Oh, they're Skechers. Um, my little Under Armour ones I've been using all summer. I have decimated the soles in them. <laughs> There's like nothing left at the bottom of them. So. Oh, so nice I can just put my hand in my 
pocket and warm it up. Oh, God, Mr. Tree, you are very unique looking, but you're so colorful. See, I'm seeing a lot more color like that way. And this is showing a lot darker. We'll see. We will see. Okay, let's get back to the house and import. Change the title on the other video and get it up to you guys. Actually, I think it's uploading. It is uploading. I'm going to have to change the title on the upload. Ah, goofy me. Good afternoon, everybody. Look what I just found in a bag. Oh, my God. It still turns on. Oh, you know what? My battery... Oop, nope. Battery depleted. I do have two other batteries. wonder if any one of them work. I have an Evo 64 gig card in this thing. I might have a faster card. But that is the Sony TX30 I was talking about some time ago. I know Jesus wanted me to use it. So, uh... We might pull it out a little bit today, too, but I just found the lights for outside. I have a screen protector on the back of that that was off of, a, I think, a Motorola phone because it was getting really scratched, so that's why it looks so crappy. This thing was through a lot of use. This was the original vlogging camera. It's the OG. Still works. Well, we got a full battery on this one, so we're just going to play around with this for a teeny second, but I'm trying to find the damn... Um, tripod thing from the from the gimbal and I don't know where the hell I put it. I know I had it in my bag. I think it might be in the trunk of the car. Found it. Alright. Let's see what we can do here with these lights. I think I got two sets of purple, two sets of orange. Unfortunately the Basset Hound has taken a nap now because I unplugged him. Alright. Do these light? They do. Do 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 do. Just want to add a little bit of light here. Oh, oh boy. These don't have a plug-in on both ends. Hmm. Hmm, okay, this one does. Maybe I should have done the purple one first then. Oh well. Ouch. Oh, you flipping bird feeder. Ooh, I wonder if I... Ooh, I wonder if we should put the spider in the bird feeder. Light the bird feeder up too. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna have enough to do a whole lot here. Yeah. Yeah, this guy was kind of unintentional, but it looks like it kind of looks like a basset. Just doesn't have ears. Push those back a little bit. That's fine. And yeah, just give a little ground lighting. Alrighty, give the Sony a little little taste of this. You can see the lights pretty good on that. I'm curious to see how the pumpkin lights up though. I don't know if that's going to be bright enough. So I got him shoved down in his mouth pretty good. Trying to light a little bit around the skulls. And I got the back of the fence purple and then around the spider hair purple. So yeah, this is going to end up getting forced into um, 4K60 at 1080-30. So, and that'll be interesting. The thing about this camera is it has zoom. So, just went a little bit right there's the optical. Well, it's pretty dead night. Oh god, this thing is not gonna last long. Battery's almost dead already. <laughs> what do you think, princess? Come on! See what I'm saying about the, the amount of time it takes to adjust from lighting? That's old school cameras. Getting it on's gonna kill the battery. Yeah, this thing was full when I uh, started. <laughs> it ain't full no more. So, batteries all need charged up. I don't even know if you can see me right now with the lighting. We shall find out. So, huh. They're out blowing the leaves around. Oh, they're getting rid of my leaves. They need to do it by the mailboxes so when it gets wet, it doesn't you know, slip and fall. Oh, battery is really dropping. Boy, I tell you what, uh, looking at the side by side shot, it just seems so blown out. This thing just cannot handle this lighting. Wow. 
And then in comparison, all right, so look at the sky, look down here, look at the sky, look, <laughs> you don't even see it change really. Maybe a little bit, but that's a white cloud right there. That's really kind of what it's catching. Back to the action five here. Ah, uh, so Tim and I are having a disagreement on what shot looks better. When I turned the cameras around and was filming Mateo coming back up the hill, in my opinion, if it was me, I like the Action 5 over the Pocket 3. It's more detailed, there's more color accuracy. I just think the overall it just looks better. So with this new bitrate thing, the Action 5 might become the new vlogger for a bit here. That is pretty amazing. So let me think, huh? What do you think? She goes, I, I, I could care less, Dad, whatever. Do whatever you want to do. Except in the car, because the uh, pocket connects better. I don't like that holding it bit. All right, princess in low angle. This shot earlier, we're walking through the leaves. I thought that looked really, really cool. Walking in a pile of leaves. Come on. Oh, geez, fell off sidewalk. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Chin like leaf blower. Shocking. Shocking. <laughs> watching the camera now, watching where I'm going. It is an absolutely gorgeous day outside. Let's see what it looks like when we get to the parking lot. Now all the trees will be nice and lit up. No more fog. It's all burned off. A couple little clouds in the sky. Should have worn sunglasses because I'm a numbskull. Yeah, actually this way there's nothing. Over this way we got a little bit of clouds to show. Alrighty. The battery showing full. What in the world? I've had this happen before. Up oh, there it goes. Literally, it acts like I changed the battery because it was uh, showing the waterproofing from opening the door, which is kind of concerning. The other concerning thing is I'm not sure if this thing is date time stamped right. That ought to be interesting. Didn't think about that because the other camera was out but it didn't give me like the whole startup menu like the other one did we'll see probably not even far enough away from me god it's such a little lens all right i had the right date but it had the wrong time by about 40 minutes that's awesome now it should be lined up so i will have to do some manual tweaking with lining up stuff tonight <laughs> yay i already have the first part of the vlog in i was watching it back that's how i know how to one uh, side by side looked because so I had to stack it, line it up, and get the, the camera images back so you can know which one was which. And in fact, I, when I spun the cameras around, I had to watch it three times to verify that I was not marking the wrong camera. When I saw the image quality, I'm like, what in the world? And yeah, the, uh, the five looks better, in my opinion. Alrighty, left the lights off on purpose so I could see how this came out. And the pur purple lights are not that great. But the orange lights are working. Pumpkin's kind of light up. Okay. I can dig it. Kind of gives the bass and hound some lighting. So. And fortunately, the purple ones really don't do much. That's okay. But it looks neat. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I was just choking. <laughs> coffee went down the wrong pipe. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the morning as always. Have a good night, stay safe and...